Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Okay, so I need to do a little introduction here. Um, so this video is actually just going to be the second part to a two-part episode I was going to do, or episodes, you know, plural. Um, anyways, it's just the second part. The first part had a whole lot of nothing going on. It was just a lot of prepping and setting things up, so I decided not to use it. Um, so in order to make the second video, like the second half make sense to you guys, I'm just going to catch you up. Basically, I just showed our little base camp we built up north, um, as shown here in this picture. And um, then I just showed that we made some, you know, we just, we got some irrigation going, got some plant species X going, or X's going, um, so we've got those to protect our dinos. Um, I showed the wolves we got, the um, white Argentavis, it seems like a lot of white ones spawn up here, which was pretty cool. Um, I showed the mooses, so on and so forth, and then uh, I talked a little bit about the club, like the wooden club you can make, which is pretty cool, you can knock players out really fast with it. And then after that, the rest was just prepping for this alpha killing adventure that I wanted to go on and share with you guys. Um, so, uh, I just, you know... I just basically had a recording of me taming some things, a high level Rex and, you know, a level 100 dire wolf, etc. And, you know, just things like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, the video was really long, uh, had a lot of slow parts, didn't want to cut so much out, so I just decided to scrap it all together. So here is the second half. Hopefully now it will make sense to you. And we're just going to toss you right in. You will see um, the way the base looks now, you can see it um, here in this, and then you'll see our dinos and you'll see how the alpha encounter went. Um, but first off, there have been quite a few changes. Um, as you can see, my plants finished growing, so that should help protect my dinos. Finally got the place gated off, so should protect everyone. Oh, I got a Skype message. Um, should protect everyone, keep all my dinos good. And look at the new base. Look at how huge this is. Look, in, look inside of this. All these preserving bins, because I don't even know what to do to fill all this space. Bunch of fires, mortar, Alex. And check this out over here. Tons of proper storage, finally, all labeled. Oh my goodness, so nice. Forges, smithy, fabricator. I don't have any, uh, I don't actually have any supplies up here. I forgot to bring them up on the Quetza from down south, so, um... We'll probably just stock up up here. Lots of oil up here anyways. Good farming spot. So beds in case we die. And then up here, we have the landing zone for all of our flyers. Woohoo! See, only Ghost Whispers up here right now. But I need him up here so he stays safe. Um, so yeah, awesome new base. I love it way more than the one down south. The one south is just way too crowded. We'll probably just use that as like a little camp. Um, this will probably be the main base. So I, yeah, like, I'm super freaking stoked. It's so nice. Uh, I got max level in this time. And uh, lots of killing, lots of taming, lots of building. Uh, lots of, you know, <laughs> lots of XP. Uh, got a Quetzal. I did have to cheat tame this one. I gave up after four hours of trying to legit tame. Uh, it's just, it's almost impossible solo. And I think they might have patched the one where you jump on them because it wasn't working for me. I just kept falling through them. Like, I'd, I'd hit his wing perfect, but I'd just fall through. Same thing with hitting his body, so... Um, oh, while I was taming the Quetzal, uh, this happened. Uh, what is going on here? And, um, yeah, so that happened. Uh, I discovered you could land on them while they were flying. Pretty funny. Um, so anyways, I did finish taming the Dire Wolves, decided to only go with four instead of five or six. It was just taking way too much time. Got my three Rexes. Marley is leading the train, level 92. And uh, unfortunately, um, the update that I was going to record today did not come out. It was um, it was supposed to come out today, and it did not. It ended up um, getting put off for whatever reason. Not sure, but it did not come out. Uh, maybe they'll release it tonight. I don't know. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe a week from now. But it was supposed to come out today. It was going to introduce dino breeding which I could not be any more excited for. So excited. And um, the Mosasaurus, which is apparently going to be a difficult tame. It's really big, uh, and it can actually drown. So I'm assuming we'll find some near the surface. It can't go too deep. I think, anyways, from what I understand. 
So cool stuff. Um, and then, uh, what was I thinking? Oh, uh, something I was thinking about the dino breeding. It would be so cool if the parents' color affected the baby. Like maybe like red and white. Like maybe you'd get a red and white T Rex. Like that would be so cool instead of just the. Uh, you know, the black and white, you know, I, I don't know, I just, just an idea, so, anyways, um, yeah, so let's do this, uh, let's go find ourselves an alpha, now, I just, I've got to catch up on some other stuff, so if I do not find an alpha in the wild, I will manually spawn it in, and I will record the fight, because this isn't, this isn't me being serious, this is a private server, like, this is all just for shits and giggles, and I have not seen an alpha rex in the wild yet, and I really want to, and I've only seen the raptor like 20 times, and it's kicked my ass 20 times, and, you know, I just, I don't know. I really hope that we can find an Alpha Rex. If not, I got the code ready. See? Spawn it in. And, um, we'll just do it that way. I mean, either way, you guys get to see a good fight. Um, I'm not expecting any of these creatures to make it out alive. Now, they are all low levels, minus Marley. And it's just because I have a low-level server. The max spawn on my server is like level 65. So the alpha we find won't be too high anyway. So I think a level 90 Rex could probably kill it. I'm trying to make sure the train's working because half my dinos got left behind earlier. Okay, let's back it up, back it up. So let's go uh, kill some things, try and get some levels. And, um... Oh, there's a pack right there. Anyways, but yeah, let's uh, let's go kill some things, and uh, hopefully we'll find a Rex along the way. If it starts taking too long, I'll just spawn one in. So, let's go do this. We got four Wolfies, three Rexes. Let's do it. Woohoo! Yeah! Alright guys, well, after killing a few things, um, and actually not moving too far from base, um, let me see, where are we? See, we only got about that far away. Um, after killing a few things, though, and having to go back to grab my wolves and my rexes off of rocks numerous times, I think we're just going to spawn one in. This is a really, really hard area to have 
um, a dino train going because they just get caught on everything like the rocks the train they just I keep losing them it's driving me crazy and I don't want to look too far here so we're just gonna spawn one in so that way you can see the battle and also how to spawn one in so we'll have to see how it goes but um, we are gonna go ahead and do it first I want water no actually never mind that's too far away let's just do it here we go Bam! Oh, he's white. Ah, oh, he's on my face. Get him off. Oh, God. Oh, God. He killed all my walls. Oh, he killed Rick Dolphin. Why are you pushing him down the hill? He just, like, eats my wolves. <laughs> I didn't expect the wolves to live. Unfortunately, the wolves, um, they don't have that much health. My level 100 did. I don't know why he died. He got one-shotted and he's got like 1,500. I'll just let these guys take care of it. Wally's gonna die. Poor Wally. Wally, get out of the way! It ain't me killing him. Whew. That was a level 30. Alpha Rex that just did all that. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? This is a level 100 Rex. Well, she was level, what, 92 when she started? What's wrong? Now? Yeah, now she's level 107. This Rex. Was freaking, oh my god. This Rex was level like 92 when we started this. Our dire wolves were 37, 19, uh, at like 12 or something. I, I don't remember. They were low. The only, I only had one high one that was level 100. Um, they all died. We lost Wally. Only two out of the, what is it, the seven survived. Oh, my poor Rexes. But we did it. We did one. Finally got one killed. Eleven thousand health. Oh my god, why'd I go all into health? Cause I want it to be a killing machine. I want it to be a tank. Oh <laughs> damn. Um But yeah, you can see how strong those alphas are. That was a level thirty-three alpha, and it killed um, it killed five. Killed five out of the seven. Almost killed my level 100 Rex. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yeah, well, there you have it. Holy shit. Ouch. So, um, <laughs> I, uh, now you guys see how deadly they are. I was talking to a buddy and he's like, nah, he's like, a level 100 Rex can handle a, a alpha, no problem. I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, mine had 4K. All my Rexes had about 3 to 4K. And they all died, so... Um, lost my dire wolves too, which is unfortunate. I will forever miss Rick Toffin. I will miss you, Wally. But yeah, that's crazy shit, man. Those things are so strong. I really was not expecting a level 33 alpha to deal that much damage to a level, you know, 92 Rex. Well, that's crazy. Unfortunately, I didn't find one in the wild, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's better that I was kind of prepared for this one. Um... But goddamn, yeah, holy shit. So, uh, yep. Anyways, uh, see you guys in the next one. Actually, on second thought, let's have a moment of silence for those who departed. For those who left this world too soon during this test of strength. May they rest in peace. As I devour their corpses, which I can't do. Moment of silence. Oh.